Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the finale of Call of Duty Cold War campaign. This, I think, is the last episode that we are going to have. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like the video, like the video, and subscribe as always. Let's get right into it. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. As the United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. All righty. This is it, baby. Let's get it. Coming up on your right. Belikov really came through in the Soviet armor. What's up, Woods? About time you caught up, Woods. No way I'm missing this. Motherfuckers are gonna pay for Ice and Lazard. Look at your chance. Solovetsky's two clicks out. All units, EMP in transit. Let's Starfish inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Alright, I got you. Let's take Perseus off the air. Oh my god, my eyes. Fuck me, that loosens the fillings. Light him up! Power. Bad guys, lots of bad guys. Oh, we got a war machine. on the west wing we're on it adler all right adler this is hudson have you cleared the aa guns we need to launch these bombers we got one aa cleared you know that's not good enough i can't risk an early strike we only got one shot at this you don't think i know that just be ready to launch when i tell you hudson What y'all doing down here? With the guys! Yeah, with the guys! There you 
can't say it. where am I? Right above. President, they stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Is that it? We stopped them. Those towers are history. What's your situation down there? Come in. Um, I'm co I'm covered with Woods, like. Have you found them yet? So. I don't think I can reach my radio right now. You know what I'm saying? Over here. Give me a hand. How did you see me under that stuff? Oh, Woods, Take you got my hand, 20, 20 vision. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. I got you. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. 
We also flushed one of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. There's a couple left, and eventually they'll hit the sewer too. Well, you're a wordsmith, Hudson. And Bell. Let's do it. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I got you. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me... Mm -hmm. It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. I got you. On, it was never sure. personal. So you're telling me I did all that, I listened to all your instructions when I was having those seizures in the last video, or whatever that was. I did all of this for you just to get backstabbed. I gave you the information to get to Perseus, I secured the nuke with you, and then you betray me. Unreal. Well, that is going to wrap up the finale of Call of Duty Cold War Campaign. I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. I love making it. I hope you guys like watching it. I will have multiplayer and zombies coming soon for you guys. If you guys did like the video, like it, share it, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.